Getting started in Adobe Spark. In this video, we'll be going over how to build a digital portfolio using Adobe Spark and get a detailed look at the example portfolio we will be creating. We'll begin to explore the features of Adobe Spark and go over how to create a project, change your theme, add a banner photo, and title. This is what our completed portfolio for a sample student will look like to give you an idea of what you can achieve after watching this series. Every great work of art starts from nothing, and so too shall we. To begin the process of creating a digital portfolio, open Adobe Spark and navigate to the left sidebar. Click the blue plus sign and a menu will drop down. Click on Web Page. This will bring you to a blank page with prompts to add a title and subtitle. The first thing we're going to do is change our theme. Click on the word Themes in the upper right corner of the screen. A drop-down menu will appear with a wide variety of choices. Remember, your theme can be changed at any time, so don't worry if you can't decide right away. The theme will establish the look and formatting of your portfolio, so feel free to play around with different themes until you find one you are happy with. For this project, we'll be using Chronicle. Next, you'll want to add your name in the Add a Title area. Click anywhere on Add a Title and type your name. Then we're going to add a subtitle by clicking on Add a Subtitle. This is where you can introduce your area of interest, whether that be your field of study, the job you are aiming for, or even a short mission statement. Our sample student is a carpenter. Finally, we will add a photo behind the text. Click the plus sign at the bottom of the page and you will be prompted to add a photo. Clicking this will open a navigation bar on the right with various options for adding a photo. You can upload your own or find free Creative Commons licensed photos. We're going to click on Upload a Photo and navigate to our folder with the photo set aside for the portfolio. Double click on the image you'd like to use and it should appear in the banner section. This banner will be the first impression people will get of you and your page, so we recommend using a large, high-quality photo, either a professional photo of yourself or something else that will set the tone for who you are and what you do. As a default, your name will be in the center of the banner. If this is blocking an important part of your image, you are able to move the title by clicking and dragging it to one of the other designated areas on the banner. Before moving on, it is important to change the focal point. This will optimize your page for mobile viewers. Start by clicking anywhere on the photo. Three options will pop up, focal point, replace, and delete. You'll want to choose focal point. A dot will appear as well as a small preview of what your page will look like on a mobile device. Drag the dot to the point of the photo that you want to be the main focus, such as a face. Make sure that on both web and mobile preview shown in the upper right corner, the photo is positioned nicely. Once you are happy with the positioning, click on Save in the top right hand corner. Here is a preview of what your header should look like when it's completed. To see yours, click the Preview button in the top menu bar.